back everyone uh, I'm at work from Hong Kong Excel so the topic I'm going to master today is uh, probability okay so this topic is very very boring and uh, today I'm going to focus on the things that most students don't understand okay or they get confused of so that is the so if I if I ask you to like pick out uh, one black ball from uh, this three balls okay then probability would be one one over three it's very very easy so most of you should understand all the concept here right okay but today I want to focus on the mutually exclusive okay event and then uh, independent event and also dependent event so what does it mean by these three things in probability? So I'm pretty sure on your data bullet, you will see P, A, and B is equal to zero for mutually exclusive, right? And then for independent event, it will be P, A times P, B is equal to P, A, and B, right? And then for dependent event, there is no equation, okay? So what does it all mean, right? So first of all, you need to understand what does it mean by mutually exclusive? P, A, and B is equal to zero, right? Okay, when I say P, A, and B is equal to zero, the symbol here is called N, it's called overlap. So it means that A and B, there's no overlap. So that's why it's equal to zero. So it must be a separate event, okay? So what can you think of the uh, example? So one, exa one example, you understand what does it mean by mutually exclusive. So A, you can think of the A event as your mom and B event is a male. So obviously your mom cannot be a male, right? Okay, so, and obviously there's no overlap, no intersection. If, if that happens, then it will be kind of troublesome, okay? So basically P, A, and B must be equal to zero. And the example for you to memorize, okay, for you to understand, then there will be mom and male, right? Because mom can never be a male, right? Okay, so this is the first case. And how about independent events? So this is what uh, most students confuse of. So they thought mutually exclusive event is equal to independent event, but actually they're not, okay? So before I understand what is independent event, so we first look at dependent events. So what does it mean by dependent? So let's say your income and your spending, okay? So if your income increase, let's say, then your spending will probably increase because your spending is likely uh, depend on, uh, is like depends on uh, the income, right? So if your income increase, then obviously your spending would increase as well, right? Okay, so we'll have a high chance to increase, right? Okay, so in this case, you can say the spending depends on the income. So there are dependent events, right? Okay, so what is the case of independent events? Then you can think of your school, the canteen, the food in your canteen, okay, VS, the teaching quality at school, okay? So obviously, it won't be like the case, the food is good, uh, the food is better in canteen, then that will lead to um, the uh, better teaching quality, right? So basically in this case, so food is delicious, won't lead to um, better teaching quality, right? Okay, so in this case, you cannot say there are dependent events. So there are obviously independent events. But one more thing, this is very, very important. Okay, so that's the major difference between the mutually exclusive and independent events. But the food is delicious and a better teaching quality, right? They can occur at the same time. They can occur at the same time, right? Okay, so that's why for this case, then the A and B events, there is and overlap okay this is what you need to know but for mutually exclusive events okay so there's no overlap so mom and male okay can never be a male right so there must not be any occasion that mom can be a male right okay so this is a concept you need to know and for independent events okay in math so how, how can you describe that the p a and b then that must be equal to p a times p b okay so if let's say i have p a uh, times uh, PB, okay? If I know that in advance, like uh, PA and B is equal to 0 0.08, yeah? So can I say A events and B events, they are um, independent? So you just need to multiply this two, so to see if you get 0 0.08. So if that match PA and B, right? Okay, and that must be independent events, okay? So for uh, dependent events, 
And what is this case then? So if I say 0 0.3 is A, 0 0.7 is uh, B, okay? So, and PA and B is still 0 0.08. Okay, so are they independent? So obviously they're not independent because 0 0.3 times 0 0.7 is 0 0.21, which is not equal to PA and B. So as long as the PA times PB is not equal to PA and B, then you can say they are dependent events, okay? So this is all you need to know for uh, the probability, my uh, note 2A, okay? So if you want to see, like, uh, see more um, exam questions, okay? And also IB exam questions, then you can uh, go to uh, below, the, click the link below, okay? Overseas.vino.hk to register a full trial lesson. That will be 1.5 hours, okay? So, um, for local students, if you're interested in the trial lesson, you can also go to uh, hongkongxl.com, hkxl.com to register a trial lesson and come to our center, okay? So I'll see you next time.